clinical the manufacturing of seed uh chimeric antigen receptor car t cells foundation of a promising therapy the treatment of cancer patients with the autologous t cells expressing a chimeric antigen receptor is one of the most promising adoptive cellular therapy approaches reproducible manufacturing high quality clinical grade car t cells product product is a prerequisite for the wide application of this technology product quality needs to be built in within every step of the manufacturing process we summarize herein the requirements and logistics to be considered as well as the state-of-the-art manufacturing platforms available car t cell therapy may be on the verge of becoming a standard of care for a few clinical indications yet many challenges pertaining to manufacturing standardization and product characterization remain to be overcome in order to achieve broad usage and eventual com commercialization of the therapeutic modality <sighs> adoptive cell therapy using naturally occurring endogenous tumor infiltrating lymphocytes or T cell genetically engineered to express either T cell receptors or chimeric antigen receptors have emerged as promising cancer immunotherapy strategies. Adoptive cell therapy using CD19 targeted C CAR T cells has resulted in remarkable responses in patients with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Promising clinical outcomes in phase 1 and 2 clinical trial studies have triggered active support and investment from pharmaceutical and biotechnological technology company. The manufacturing of clinical grade CAR T cells under good manufacturing is a critical step and its current state a uh, bottleneck for the wide implementation of this promising promising therapeutic modality. <sighs> Adoptive uh, cellular therapy involves the uh, ex vivo enrichment and expansion of T lympho, uh, lymphocytes. The next major development came from a study of cytotoxicity lymphocytes which help to eliminate viruses by killing virus infected cell. Uh, this phenomenon of MHC restriction led to a series of experiments to determine whether T cells expressed two receptors, one for self MHC and the other for antigen or whether T cells Biology at the biology at the hair. Hi, from increased number of lymphocytes in your blood, lymphocyte type of a uh, White blood cells, they play an important role in your immune system, helping your body fight off infection. High lymphocyte blood level indicates your body is dealing with an infection or other inflammatory condition. Oh, my biology at the... Uh...
molecular biology. Lymphocytes. One important function of lymphocyte is to generate adaptive. Biology. The initial success of CD19 targeted CAR T cells in early phase clinical trial for the treatment of hematologic malignant. Melanocytes has triggered a genuine interest for CAR D cells, cell based therapies. The targeting of other targeting of other types of cancers focusing on additional tumor associated antigens such as PSMA, mesothelin, GD2, HER2, and epidermal growth factor receptors is currently an active field of research and clinical trials as well. Hence, the manufacturing of CAR T cells under the CGD, CGMP is a focal point for its promising therapeutic modality. Despite the various design and distinctive tumor specific uh, SCFVs, the manufacturing procedure, procedure for CAR T cells remain consistent. The procedures encompasses T cell source collection and processing followed by CAR T cell pre preparation. The latter involve T cell selection and or activation, genetic modification with CAR cDNA followed by large scale expansion and end of process formulation. In process and quality control release testing are intimately coupled to the manufacturing process to ensure the integrity of the product. Gandu Gandu was now the question is how they do that do that. <laughs> Lord McCallum Leonard and a scanner. As as a mostly autologous uh, cell based therapy, the CAR T cell manufacturing process starts from the collection of peripheral peripheral blood mononuclear cell from the patient, commonly achieved by leukapheresis process. Consenting physicians choose the appropriate window for collection based on treatment regimen to ensure the presence of sufficient number of T lymphocytes. Selected F heresis product can be processed in various ways depending on the downstream procedure. <laughs> Devices such as hemonetic cell saver 5 plus and have the ability to remove gross red blood cells and palliated contaminants, Teromo, Alutra, and BioSafe CPAC system provide size based cell fermentation for the depletion of monocytes and the isolation of uh, lymphocytes. Instruments such as Clini Mac Plus and Prodigy systems allow the enrichment of specific subsets of T cells such as GD4 plus GD, uh, CD8 plus, CD25 plus, or CD62L plus T cells using 
Miltinae beats wholesale washing as shown. Car D cells generated from CD3 plus population are widely used in clinical trial 3, 4, 5, and 6. However, studies from different laboratories have demonstrated that certain subsets of T cells, such as naive for central memory or memory stem cells, may display functional advantage. Clinical skill selection, transduction, and expansion processes have also been developed for these T cell subsets. Although generation of CAR T cells products initiated with T cells populations of defined composition is an appealing strategy, T cell subsets that provide the optimal therapeutic effect and minimal tox uh, tox toxicity while outliving a robust and reproducible manufacturing process remain to be identified. The process T cell source material can either be used directly for downstream procedures or chiro preserve for future use. There are pros and cons for either practice. Nevertheless, uh, cryo preserving the process, T cells allow time for product release testing and more flexibility for downstream process planning. T-cell activation. The ex vivo expansion of T-cells require uh, sustained and adequate activation. T-cell activation needs a primary specific signal via the T-cell receptor and cost stimulatory signals such as CD28B41BB or OX40. T-cell activation is also required for the transduction of the CAR cDNA via retroviral vectors. Cell-based T-cell activation antigen-presenting cells such as dendritic cells are the endogenous activators of T-cells responses, while therapeutic application of DCs continue to be invested. DC potency varies from patient to patient. Such limitation hampers the usage of DCs as a reliable source for T-cell activation. Another cell-based T-cell activation approaches through artificial antigen Presenting cells irritated beats based T cell activation. Several biotech companies have generated off the shelf clinical grade T cell activation reagent, including the Int Vitrogen CDS, Dynabeat CD328, the Miltenii Mag GMP, antibody coated magnetic beats. Dyna beads are uniform super paramagnetic beads covalently coupled to CD3 and CD28 antibodies. The added value of this reagent is that it enables the selection and activation of T cell in a single step and use in conjunction with the dynal clinical ex vivo MPC magnet. As the first generation of the shelf clinical re grade reagent for CD3 T cell selection and activation uh, Xpamper technology. The most recent development in T cell activation reagent is the Xpamper from Juno Therapeutics. Its unique core the strep tamir technology has been used to isolate viral specific lymphocytes. It has been reportedly recently that as a soluble and Dissociable T cell stimulation reagent expamper efficiently induces T cell receptor signaling and efficiently activates T cells to support retroviral transduction and expansion. Ah, <sighs>
The GE wave bioreactor system is a widely used device for expansion. This scalable system consists of a single juice cell bag bioreactor, temperature enabling electric rocket base, and a range of optional controllers, pumps, and probes. The cell bag bioreactor is placed on a rocket base that is equipped to maintain bag inflation and gently rock the cell bag for rapid gas transfer and mixing. The perfusion functionality of the wave allows for automatic, automatic feeding and waste removal. Cells can rapidly expand to more than 10 to the power of 7 cells per milliliter, and this system can support up to 25 liter cell culture in a single bioreactor. This platform is widely used by academic centers and biotech companies for cell expansion to support phase one and two clinical trial. I look a lot of lot of rug Ugh. <sighs>